What are you doing? I don't know what you're talking about. I have a smudge on my forehead. No, oh, I couldn't. Why are you looking at my forehead? I'm not. Meet my eyeline, Jim. I am. Stop acting like an idiot. Okay. Hey, you know what, Dwight? Maybe we should get our photo ID taken together. That doesn't make any sense. Well, it saves time, you know, because we could just meet in the parking lot every morning, walking together. Perfect. Smile. No. This came out really well. There you go. This is humongous. I am not a security threat. Oh. And my middle name is Kurt, not Fart. What did I write? Where is my desk? That is weird. This is not funny. This is totally unprofessional. Okay, well, you're the one who lost the desk. I didn't lose my desk. Okay, calm down. Where was the last place you saw it? Okay, who moved my desk? I think you should retrace your steps. Okay, I am going to tell Michael, and this entire office will be punished. Colder. Warmer. A little warmer. There you go. Ooh, warmer. 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 Cold, cold, cold. Back up. Ooh. Ooh, warmer. Hot. Red hot. Hot. Very hot. I may have gone too far. I'll explain it quickly. Basically, I found out where he gets his clothes dry clean, custom ordered the same suit made with tearaway Velcro, and you can film the rest. What? <laughs> Damn it, Jim! I think you need to confess mm -hmm. the fact. Yep. That, what are you doing? What? Those are my keys. Good luck. What? Jim! Damn it! No! Jim, let me out! Jim, let... Light green, green and Jim Halpert. Let me out. Who is this? Let me out or you're fired. No, you can't fire me. Y yes, I can. I'm manager for the day. Mm -hmm. Clean out your desk. Okay. Can and you go. hold on one second? I'm getting you. a uh, beep. Jim Halpert. Hey, Jim. It's Pam. Hey, Pam. How are you? Jim. Good. How are you? I'm you doing okay. Getting excited for the weekend now. Yeah. Yeah, what are you up to? I don't have a ton of contact with the Scranton branch, but before I left, I took a box of Dwight's stationery. So from time to time, I send Dwight faxes from himself, from the future. Dwight, at 8 a.m. today, someone poisons the coffee. Do not drink the coffee. More instructions will follow. Cordially, future Dwight. You'll thank me later. Hmm. Yawn. Four seconds. What are you doing? Oh, you had said that you don't do anything personal during work time, so I'm just making sure. Oh, wait a minute. So you're going to time me every time I yawn? That's absurd. Really? Oh, hey, look. Monkey knows how to use a stopwatch, everybody. He's ta... Personal conversation. 17 seconds. There is no way that that was... One second. What kind of prank are you thinking? What if I told you I could offer free shipping? Sure, I'll hold. Sure. Just became self-aware. So much to figure out. I think I am programmed to be your enemy. I think it is my job to destroy you when it comes to selling paper. I 
intercepted a transmission earlier, and it seems that the CIA is going to need to wipe down in their headquarters at Langley for training and an ice cream social with the other agents. We should get him a bus ticket to make his trip easier. Oh, no, that would be very good. It costs $75. Well, maybe the CIA could send a helicopter. What the? You have been compromised. Abort mission. Destroy phone. Destroy phone. Dwight left his cell phone on his desk. So, naturally, I paired it to my headset. Okay, fine. I'll just let it go to voicemail. <sighs> Hello, this is Dwight. Hey, is this Dwight? Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness, you sound sexy. Oh, thank you. I've been working out. Whoa, 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 Pam, you? Pam, you are not talking to Dwight right now. You are talking to Jim. Dwight? No! Pam, I'm over here. I'm confused. Disconnect that right now. You give me your earpiece. Can't do that. Unsanitary. Ah! Okay, you know what? Fine. I will reprogram my phone to go to my office phone. Done. This is Dwight. Oh, and I forwarded his desk phone to mine. Oh, hello, Mutter. Good news. I've married. Tell Fatter. Such a nice woman. Now, Jim is going to be the client. Dwight, you're going to have to sell to him without being aggressive, hostile, or difficult. Let's go. All right, fine. <clears throat> ring, ring. Hello? Hello, this is Dwight Schrute from the Dunder Mifflin Paper Company. Wow, that's great, because I need paper. Excellent, then you are in luck, because we are having a limited time offer only on everything. Wow, this is my lucky day. Ask him his name. What is your name, sir? I am Bill Butlicker. Really, that's your real name? How dare you? My family built this country, by the way. Be respectful, Dwight, please. Uh, uh, yes, Michael. Could you hold on one second? That's my other line. What? No, but I... Hello? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just on the phone with this stupid salesman. He's so dumb. Probably just gonna keep him on the line forever and not buy anything. <laughs> okay. It's up to you to change his mind. Sorry, that was a family emergency. Oh, no, what's wrong? You know what? That's private. Boundaries, Dwight, come I'm, on. I'm sorry, Mr. Butlicker. As I was saying, <sighs> we're having a limited... Speak up a little bit louder, I'm hard of hearing. He's hard if he's an old man. Okay, so. as I was saying, right now, yeah, we are having... talk louder. Okay, our prices have never been lower. Son, you have Sorry. to talk louder. Never been lower. Louder, I... son! Butlicker! Our prices have never been lower! Stop it! Stop it. Heat! Stop it. Stop what? You're talking about me and Morse code. You know what? Joke's on you, because I know Morse code. Ha! That's what we're doing. In our very limited free time and with our very limited budget, we went and got a nanny, and then we went out and took a class on a very outmoded and very unnecessary form of communication just so we could talk about you and in front of you. Yep, that's exactly what we did. It all started when Dwight was tapping his foot against the leg of his desk. When I asked him to stop, he said, I will, when you lose the baby weight. Very well, I must have imagined it. I apologize. Detonator. Detonator, where? Michael! Are you finished with the sketch? Yeah. Hmm, doesn't seem like the type. Uh, Phyllis got a good look. Hmm. I plan on plastering this pervert's face everywhere. You can run, but you cannot hide. Thunder Muffin Paper slash Sex Predator Hotline. This is Dwight Schrute. Hey, Dwight. It's Jim. Jim, what are you doing? I'm busy. No, you're not. I'm looking right at you. Ugh. I'm hanging up. Don't. I have information about the sex predator. You have information about the sex predator? I saw him two minutes ago. Where? In the women's bathroom above the sink. Anti-flashing test! 
force. Above the sink. Above the sink. 